Check this out, mate. Stumbled upon this interesting fact today. It said a human's eye can distinguish up to a million colours. That's insane. Also an update from my chess club. We won the local tournament here, a tight match, akin to your Go showdowns. So, something new I embarked upon. I've decided to take a plunge into the pool of reflections, thoughts, and possibly a minefield of tangents. You know how my mind is a whirlwind on most days with thoughts and hypothetical scenarios running amok. Well, I've commenced a 30-day blogging challenge in an attempt to track this chaos. You remember me telling you about my anxiety struggles and using writing as a therapeutic technique. This idea sparked from that. Taking therapy to another level, why not share it with the world, right? Metaphorically, I've decided to throw open the doors to the museum of my mind. Maybe there's someone out there on a parallel path, battling similar demons. Perhaps my landscape of thoughts could serve as a compass or a roadmap. Who knows? Oh, and by the way, remember our Halloween chat today? Rachel's idea of dressing up as an algorithm gave me a hearty laugh. I have to admit, though, it's an apt metaphor. Our own creations becoming our fears, just like Frankenstein's monster. Shivers down my spine while contemplating that at 3am. But fascinating, isn't it? Switching gears to something light-hearted, Sam's victory dance makes me wonder if I should host a go tournament within the team, you know, to keep the spirits high amidst all the work. My go is getting rusted, must brush up before I get whipped. Also, I've been binge listening to this song called Rain by Keshi. The rhythm somehow syncs with my thought pace. I find it strangely calming. You should definitely give it a listen on your drive back. Has a dash of soothing melancholy to it. Before I forget, Sam gave me an update on last night's Warriors game. They crushed it. Missed watching it, though. Was knee-deep in work. My lunch was pretty regular. Made some stir-fried chicken. Nothing exciting. Poor Rachel, though. She burnt her pasta. That's one less thing I'm worried about. Managing kitchen disasters. Anyway. I need to get back to writing my first blog post. It's an engaging challenge. Turns out putting chaos into words is kind of a Herculean task, but it's worth every moment. You won't believe it today. I've been head deep in moon colony predictions. Yes, mate. Moon colonies, like those old sci-fi stories we read. It's fascinating to think about the possibilities. AI, our own brainchild at Neural Nest, can contribute so much to this lunar exploration. Imagine this, advanced robotics enabled by our AI for efficient resource utilisation and detailed lunar mapping. Sounds like a page out of a Jules Verne novel, right? On the fun side of things, Sam tried out this insane new VR game with a guy named Andy. Now, you know me, I'm not a big gamer, but Sam's enthusiasm for it has me intrigued. Could be a nice break from all the startup stress. Might give it a go. Speaking of shared pursuits, I've been listening to this new Keshi track. It's got these calming vibes. Give it a listen when you can. I think you'd enjoy it. It's become my coding companion recently. Keeps me focused. It was amusing to see Rachel struggle with the thought of getting into gaming. She simply can't keep up, but we convinced her to try out the Keshi track. It's interesting to see our interactions, each one of us with different interests, yet somehow they all intersect at some point. Like our chat about moon colonies, it started as hype, and the next thing we know, we're thinking of the practical implications of neural nest in a lunar setting. You know, our youthful, almost harebrained ideas from the past don't seem so far-fetched now. They are just on the edge of possibility. I believe our generation, with our AI, our technology, our entrepreneurial spirit, we can be the ones to tackle that final frontier, the moon. Ah, I'm gushing again, going off on a tangent on moon colonies and neural nest. My mind is buzzing with ideas, feels like startup days all over again. All right enough of my futurist ramblings for now. So that happened. Kicked off my daily yoga routine today. Trust me, it's not all deep breaths and tranquility. It's sneakily challenging. I started with the basic Hatha yoga. You know the style that has all the physical exercises and sequences. It was far away from being a zen-like experience, but I can't deny how gratifying it felt afterwards. 
As someone who's been sprinting on the entrepreneurial treadmill for so long, slowing down was weirdly unsettling. But hey, I'm hoping it'll help me keep the stress monster at bay. At least that's the plan. On a side note, we had this funny chat today with Rachel and Sam. Rachel was raving about some fashion collection, and Sam, being Sam, just couldn't match her enthusiasm. I chipped in saying someday, Neural Nest will predict these fashion trends, you know in a jest. But given our current AI applications, it doesn't seem that far-fetched, does it? Remember when we thought of Neural Nest as a mere idea, a moonshot? Now look at us, imagining our AI on lunar platforms or even runways. Oh, and obviously we got around to talking about the latest Marvel movie. Can't escape that with Sam around, though I must admit, the AI tech they use in those movies does pique my curiosity. Enough about our little geek reunion, coming back to my adventures with yoga. I think I'll gradually try out more intense styles as I get more comfortable. And no, before you say it, I'm not trying to turn into a bendy pretzel, just aiming to get the stress knots out of this entrepreneur's body. Also remember the jujitsu goal? This could be a way to prep for that. Imagine me doing jujitsu someday. Weird, right? Geez, it's not even been a day and yoga's got me thinking about long-term goals from jujitsu to mental resilience. Can't say if it's the yoga introspection or some sort of carbonated entrepreneur spirit surfacing. Anyway, enough of my yogi and entrepreneurial ramblings. <laughs>